In today's video, we will cover Manual Video Redaction in CaseGuard Studio. This simple and easy tool gives you the most control possible when redacting videos because if you can draw a box around an object, you can redact it. Before drawing your redaction box, select what shape you would like it to be from this drop-down menu. You can choose Rectangle, Triangle, Ellipse, or Diamond. I will choose Rectangle. Then you will want to select the effect that will be applied from this drop-down menu here. There are four redaction effects, Adaptive Blur, Blur, Pixelate, and Filled, as well as 28 enhancement effects. I will choose Blur. You can also choose if you would like to draw a standard effect, which will blur what you select, a reverse effect, which will blur everything but what you selected, and a full frame reduction, which will blur the entire frame whenever the selected object, such as this woman head, appears. I will select the standard effect for this video. Now we will click and hold our left mouse button down over this reduction box and hit the space bar on our keyboard to play the video. And as this woman moves, we will drag our reduction box along over top of her, and this will manually redact the video. Using your left and right arrow keys, you can go back and forth in your video frame by frame to ensure that your redactions are applied as you like. So I'm going to go back to where she exits the video, and then select that box and hit delete from next frames. Now let's keep going back and ensure that her face is covered the entire time. And now I will do that throughout the whole video. Now that my entire video is cleaned up just as I would like it, I would like to show you a second way that you can do manual redaction on video that is less time consuming and can help you expedite your, your redaction process. This next tool is called the search by image function, so we are going to right click on this redaction and click search. And our program will search the video for this woman's head and automatically redact her, though this is still a manual function. Before we export this video to see the final product, I will also would like to show you that you can change what mode that you are editing in. So as you can see here in edit mode, we have a red line around the redaction as well as the apply reduction effect. If we switch to edit mode view, you will see the red line, but the redaction effect is not visible. And you can use preview mode, which will show you what the final product upon export will look like. Now I'm just going to select export. And here is the exported file. I'm going to speed up video and hit play using the spacebar on my keyboard. As you can see, both women have been redacted using manual tools inside of CaseGuard Studio for video redaction.